At North Sales, it's always been about making a better product. I've always told our guys, go find a better way to make a sale and we'll figure out how to sell it. And 3DI was just that process. As a management team, we had to decide are we going to invest in this technology or not. The bet was about a $20 million bet. When I worked with Dan at the beginning of 3DI, we didn't have a product. We had an idea. I got up in front of the decision makers for the company and told them all the reasons why it probably wouldn't work. Tom Whitten, who's the single person with the best vision at North Sales over the years, he said, but there is a chance it will work, and if it does work, we're gonna have something really special. Well, from the beginning with 3DI and how it's different from any other sale that's made, is it's made without a laminate. All of the racing sales up until that point had all relied on mylar to stabilize the yarn. We're trying to define a sale that would stretch in the same way throughout the entire surface of the sale. And we weren't really interested in building anything that was only good enough for customers who gave us a durability requirement of 10 hours because it's just not realistic. One thing that we're able to do with 3DI is we try to engineer the layouts to defy physics. A sail will load with wind pressure and generally when you load something, it stretches. What we've done with 3DI is we've engineered the composite structure so that with your sail controls, you have the ability to fight that and get a sail that actually flattens with load. Our milestone moment in the history of the project was JB just arrived at the meeting determined to change the way we view the layout concepts and his mandate to the group was we're going to pick one concept and we're going to ride that one for all the different market segments and we'll change the materials within that concept rather than changing the concept around the materials. We're still using that same mandate today and it greatly accelerated progress we made on the layouts and the structures. We're always looking for the best flying shape, the best shape that can adapt through a various amount of wind range and it's now able to be seen in a smaller class like a Mauger's 20 and then in the super yachts where the demands for the, the sales are quite different and what we're getting now is a fantastic product that we can have trust in, it's reliable and it's exactly what we need and controllable. Well the ultimate test ground for 3DI, one would be the America's Cup. On the durability side, you would have to say that the Volvo Ocean Race is one of those areas that have proved that 3DI has the durability. I'd say the best day for me in the history of 3DI was the day that the first Volvo where they all used 3DI sales ended because they all made it and none of the sales failed and that was a huge test for us. At North Sales, we have a range of 3DI sales. They're targeted to specifically benefit all the different sailing groups from the Grand Prix racer to the coastal cruiser and the super yacht. I think what we're seeing is a great product that can be used right across the range of the sport. The sails are now able to be adapted to a lighter weight boat and I think you have seen from throughout the range of classes that there's a real consistency in what you order each time. We went out and won with the product, and that instantly gives belief. Hey, this product's gonna work. This product might just be what it takes. We have 3DI in good shape. Is it coasting time? No, I think the development is just starting. You know, really with 3DI, I think we're just getting to understand the process, and we're getting pretty good at, at actually processing the sales. But I think the design still has a lot of opportunity left for performance-oriented sailors, but also in the durability and the big cruisers. I live in fear that somebody's gonna catch us, so if you're motivated that way, you're always thinking about what's next. Now with North Sales, good enough is never enough. To the man, throughout the whole sales team, the management team, the sailmakers, everybody in the company is always trying to think of ways to do it better. It's our own guys that are always coming back and saying it's not good enough, we can do better, even when the customers are happy.